Okay, the, um, the graphs that you see below, you're going to be playing around with some sliders, and your job here is to just discover how um, the value of B in this power with this bait, like the B is going to change as I move the slider, and all you want to do is think about, well, what happens when I move the slider bigger, and what happens when I move the slider closer to zero? So you're just going to play with the slider and see what happens to the graph as that changes. Um, so I'm not going to make those comments here. I'm going to let you discover them. But I'm just going to show how the slider will change as we get close to zero and how as we get bigger. So what, how you can see this is this, this B is, is, is changing. The X is, is, a con, um, is, is X. Um, so right now, like this would be the equation y equals 6.39 to the power of x. This is y equals 2 to the power of x. So you're going to play around with that and watch how the graph changes. On the second one down here, um, it's, it's kind of the same thing that you're going to be looking at. Um, the, the b is the same b, so there's the b there. And you can move that B back and forth just like you could have moved the one up on the above graph. Um, but the other thing to look at is what happens when I multiply that B to the power of X by this number A out front. Um, and so I can change my value of A so I can make my A very big. And I can make my A very small, close to zero. And then I can make my A even negative. And then negative big. Okay, so we're going to play around with that. You're going to kind of just move the sliders. The goal is to see the properties of the, the numbers and how that relates to the graph. When you get here, what I want you to do is tell me what you saw. So, um, like, you're going to say something about the shape of the graph for different values of B. So all you're going to do is double-click here and write your name. And then click underneath here and then write something. Uh, what did you just see about B? What happened when B was big? What happened when B was small? You write something in there about that. You're going to do the same thing for domain and range. Tell me about the domain and range of the graphs. Tell me about how the value of A changes the graph when you drag A back and forth. And then also comment on the y-intercepts. When you made different graphs, how did the y-intercepts relate to the values in the equations? So you're, for each one of these, make a little note. Just double-click on that page. You write it in. It'll be saved there. And, and the, nice, the nice thing is you'll see everyone else's comments, too. Um, and, and it's possible, you know, you're going to have, a lot of you will have similar, similar um, results and similar things to comment on. But the nice thing is you'll see everyone else's, and you'll see maybe somebody will have something that you didn't see. Please comment on this board here. And then complete the quiz like, like we have in the past. Um, there are four questions here. So um, go, feel free to go back up to the, the Desmos graphs and plot some of these and see which, see which one is the steepest. Plot some of these, see which one is the steepest. Um, think about this and what properties it has from doing the second graph. The same with this. Pick one of those. Put your name in here. And then write something about what you learned. Maybe maybe something didn't work for you. Or, or maybe you learned something new. And write about it in there. And that's it. Put it, submit, and you are done.